Hi everyone, it's Tristan, and in this video I'll show you how to create events for your Discord bot. Hey you, are you subscribed to the channel? No you're not? You're not subscribed? Okay. Okay, can you subscribe for me please? Thank you very much, I love you now. Okay, so first of all what you want to do is create a new, uh, actually we'll create a new package uh, that we'll call events. In this package we'll add a new class which will say event join for example. So right here that's uh, going to be the code for our join event. So when a member is going to join the server we're going to send this event. So right here we want to extend listener adapter. Then if we type on, as you can see we get multiple choice. But what we want is guild member join, just like that. Then the super we don't need it okay so we're gonna say event dot get kill or get channel by uh get text channel by id yeah sorry and then uh right here there's gonna be um a bunch of strings so what strings is it gonna be if we go on discord right here uh where our bot is basically uh let's get a channel public chat yeah let's just get that copy id right here and if you can't see this copy id that's because in the events tab in your discord settings you want to check developer mode when this is checked you can now get the id of a text channel you can get the id of a separator you can get the id of someone also get the id of a role you can get basically the id of everything of a guild there like there's id for everything so then with your channel id you want just you just want to paste it right there and then you want to say uh, send message for example and then we're going to say welcome to the server plus we're going to say event dot get member as you can see we can get the member we can get a bunch of other stuff uh, as we did we could get the guild uh we can get the response number to get the user but for us we're just gonna get the member and we're gonna say get as mentioned so that's gonna mention the member so now as you can see there's a little yellow uh thing right here it says method invocation send message may produce null pointer exception so that's because of this right here this channel could be null but our, in our case we know that it's not null because uh this bot is in uh, our guild right here as you can see so this channel is not null from frosted's uh, development world but what we could do to be even more careful we could copy the guild id over here and we can say if event.get guild so basically where the event happens okay on the guild that the event happens we're gonna say get id that equals this id and we can say if it doesn't equals we can return so what this code will do is that it's going to start the event, okay? Someone is going to join the server. Then it's going to check if uh, the event of where the player uh, or the member just joined the server, if the ID of this guild is the same as um, this one right here. So Frosted Development World. So if it's not the not the same, we're going to return the code. So we're canceling the code over here. Otherwise, it will just keep on going. And boom, right here is going to try to send uh, the message. And right here, what we need to do is say dot Q. Uh, so that is basically going to execute our line. So you need to do this for everything that you do. Even if we say add role, blah, blah, blah. Imagine over here, we've got a member and we've got a role, blah, blah, blah. Uh, right here, you need to do dot Q also to add the role to the member. Uh, pretty much the same thing as uh, get a channel, get zero, for instance. And we say delete, we will need to queue also. Okay, that's always a thing. Uh, there's also complete. Um, there's also com uh, queue after, complete, deadline, reason, set check. Like, like, there's a lot of stuff, but we won't check that in this video. So yeah, right here we've got our send message event, which is queued, which everything should work over here. One last thing to do is go into the bot class right here and say dot add event listener and a new event join. Okay, so we can now start the bot. The bot is started. Okay, so let, let's make someone join the server. So that's what we're going to do to test it out. There we go. We've got this bot right here that just joined the server and it said welcome to the server at right because that's his bot name basically that's it okay so that's basically it as i told you you've got a bunch of event which we're gonna go in deep for all of those not all of those but for the big majority of those like the all the important ones we're gonna go over them once and all those tutorials but as of for now that's it. I ain't gonna show you anything more for this episode because that's basically always the same thing. Imagine on guild member remove is when someone leave the guild and you can say event dot, for example, get member, get guild, get the GDA also. Let's say on guild member, on guild ban, just like that. So we can say event dot get user. So get the user that has been banned. You can do a bunch of stuff, okay? And that's always the same thing, okay? It's as simple as that. There's nothing more, uh, more easier than that. And also you can put all of your events in just one only class 
class, or you can divide it in multiple class. So having the event join, event leave, event blah, blah, blah. And right here, if you create multiple class, you will always need to register your event. So add the event listener. If you all just put your the events in the same class. So for example, if I say on guild member remove i can just send a message uh basically i, I will copy all of this code right here okay that's just for demonstration i'm gonna say left the server blah blah, blah plus the event dot get user get as mentioned so basically when a user is gonna leave it's gonna get the user as mentioned and it's gonna queue all of that let's rerun the bot now as you can see i don't need to register it over here i'm already registering my event join class so if i go onto the server now and i kick this bot left the server right tick. so you know everything is still working fine everything is uh, uh, okay so yeah that's uh, basically how you do it so i hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one bye bye